Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Eurovision 2023 interview. And today I'm joined by Iru from Georgia. How are you doing today? Hello. I'm doing good. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. And of course, we've seen um, both of your rehearsals now. We had the first rehearsal a couple of days ago, um, and we had a couple of press pis- press pictures that I had seen of your like arm bracelet. Oh, yeah. Um, and I feel like maybe this is one of those things when you get the camera angle and you'll be able to see all the details. But I was really curious about, is there any like significance to this? Because it's a pretty large element yeah. of, of your dress there. It is. So uh, we have this amazing elements of nature, right? Like in my stage, like it's uh, just, I don't know, wind and so many things are happening in the background as well. So it's just mm-hmm. like very powerful, right? So we wanted to just like incorporate that, like also a show this the same thing, um, uh, like in my arm. So we just made it circular and every single time it's different because we cannot create like the same things because like we're just like knotting them and just mm. like circling them and stuff. So wherever my designer feels like she wants to knot, like make a knot or something, like that that's what like that's what makes it unique because it's going to be different like every single time it's like one of those bridesmaid dresses where it's like you know you could just tie it here you can loop it around it's like that but in a bracelet yes it is actually like bend it however you want to (laughs) interesting and of course we know that you have been dying to get to Eurovision. Of course, you had done the Junior Eurovision Song Contest and had won there in in 2011. But I was curious for for you in particular, like when did your passion and love for Eurovision first begin? Yeah. Okay, so the first time when I went to Junior Eurovision, that's when I fell in love with actually like Eurovision because it's the same though it doesn't really matter if it's junior or the adult one because it's the same vibes like same magical moments experience is amazing you're meeting so many people just so many interviews it's such an interesting experience so yeah I would probably say like junior Eurovision got me into this amazing spell (laughs) Eurovision spell that I love Awesome. And so did you know about Eurovision before Junior? You just, you weren't really following it? Yes, actually, uh, Junior Eurovision, before I went there, um, well, Zikebi, I, I knew them, like, from Georgia. Mm-hmm. So uh, that was, like, the first act that I saw, and I was singing along with them and stuff. That's how I got to, into Junior Eurovision. And then I was like, oh, there's, like, adult ones, even though I didn't know that the first <laughs> one was that. Okay, so I was like, okay. And then I started searching and, like, seeing all the acts and performances. I was like, oh, this is so much bigger. You know, I would love to just stand on those stages one day. So, yeah. Mm. All righty. And now I'm going to take us in a completely different direction, okay? You know, because I feel like we can talk about Eurovision yeah. all day long. Okay. <laughs> but I'd also like for everyone who's watching this interview to also maybe try and get to know you yes, just a little bit better. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to list off a, a category. Like, for example, I could say favorite song to sing at karaoke. Okay. And you'll just tell me. What fits that category, okay? Okay, cool. So we'll start pretty easy. Your favorite food to snack on? Oh, to snack on. Uh, wow, I like when you put me on the spot. Like, <laughs> oh, God. Okay, maybe fries, french fries. Ooh, very good. In uh, America, we have loaded french fries. Mm-hmm. So if you ever come to the States, uh, I'll, I'll get you. There's also, if you ever go to the Baltic market, they have Nashville hot fries, which oh. are just Nashville hot wings on top of french fries. Well, the problem is that I don't really do spicy. So. Mm. <laughs> yeah, just, I'm a very basic person. Maybe we can get Nashville regular fries. Yeah, maybe, that, that's a good choice. <laughs> Alrighty, and where is your favorite place to go if you're going to go on a holiday? somewhere sunny and just like uh how to say maybe an island or something yeah Mm. okay very nice a nice day on the beach perhaps yes 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 (laughs) i love the sun and uh beaches and also like the waves and like all the ocean and stuff yeah okay and also let's see what is your favorite tv show or movie my favorite tv show would be Grey's anatomy I Very love good. I love biology, so it's <laughs> it's one of my favorite things to watch. Um, yes, and the movie would be Titanic. Ooh, and they like just did their twentieth anniversary, twenty fifth anniversary, I think, of of Titanic. Yeah. Good yeah. Lord. Uh, every time I watch it, it's for like three hours, right? Or mm-hmm. something like that. Every single time. I know what's happening by heart. I know. It's <laughs> every time I bawl my eyes out. It's just like so classic, you know? Mm-hmm. It's just amazing. I love it. Yep. I'm the same. I'm a- secretly obsessed with the Titanic. So um, I do. Uh, they play it all the time in America. Like uh, I watch Drag Race all the time. And every time before it, like Titanic will play like every other month. And I'm like, 
Oh. All right, I guess I'm crying today. Okay. <laughs> we love a good cry, right? I also love cartoons. Uh, and one of the best uh, cartoon like movies to watch is like, and ball my eyes out, is Coco. Mm. Yeah, every single time. Mm-hmm. I'm dying. Mm-hmm. And that has some good music in it, too. Oh, yeah. That's Ooh. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now I also wanted to ask you a little bit about uh, choreography. Uh, we saw, or I saw, I don't know if they saw, but I saw the TikTok that you did uh, with Brunette from Armenia, where yes. you did the, the dance challenge, if you will. <laughs> um, and you're pretty, pretty talented and gifted there in the choreography. Um, so I was uh, curious, you know, of course, you've got your, your career here as an artist and a musician. Is there perhaps a dance career out there or maybe a future appearance on, you know, Dancing with the Stars Georgia? Oh my God. Okay. So such a nice question because (laughs) I love dancing so much. I don't actually take dance classes like professionally at all. Mm. Uh, So I, it's just like something that I love to do. I love when the music starts and just like the rhythm from my body is just like, I start moving somehow and whoever I watch, I just try to just repeat the moves and yeah. Borrow. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So I love dancing so much and I really, really, really want to attend dance dancing with the stars in georgia <laughs> so mm. that's something that i have in mind so just stay tuned if i do that okay so we're gonna manifest that into the world yes please mm, okay okay awesome <laughs> well um now we're gonna move into a very different and fun game mm-hmm. so i know that you have some pretty uh good relationships with the other eurovision 2023 artists so i made up a game specific for you Oh. And it's called Eurovision 23 Superlatives. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna. <laughs> Not really good at games. Oh no! This will this will be pretty easy. Trust okay. me. So I'm just gonna give you uh, again another category, and you're gonna tell me an artist that you think matches. Okay. 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 Let's do that. Who do you think has the best dance moves? Dance moves. I would say Noah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Israel. Mm-hmm. It's true. She does that backflip on stage. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I saw her dance break. She's really one of the best. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, I would break my back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Riley's don't break my heart. I would don't break my back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Alrighty. <laughs> deep a little fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, who would be most likely to make you laugh? Oh, Poland. She's funny. She's hilarious. I, I love chatting with her all the time. She's mm. amazing. Okay. Yeah. Well, we have a chat with her on Monday, so maybe I'll ask her her best joke. Okay. okay. Um, who is most likely to leave you on red when you text them? Oh, uh, who would it be? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I would probably say... <laughs> I don't want to, like, offend anyone. I mean, because we're all busy here. Yeah, it's yeah. not It's not shade. I would probably say Lorene, because she is, like, ha- had a, like, kind of, like, she's never appearing on anything. <laughs> like, I haven't seen her just, like, just once, and then she just, like, pops up and just, like, whoop, goes away. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I would probably say she is really, really busy, and, yeah. I'm convinced that she has, like, secret tunnels in Liverpool, and she just, like, pops out. That's and they what just, I say. Whoop. She's nowhere to be found <laughs> Alrighty, who do you think is most likely to have their own reality tv show oh i would say slovenia boys they are so much fun and they're like such a big energy together you know they're always joking and jumping up and down and like and they're so funny mm-hmm. uh yeah so yeah i would probably say that just imagine them on like big brother oh That'd be crazy. They they would they would make a tornado in there. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, and last one of this category, who do you think is most likely to return to Eurovision one day? Oh, Monica. She's been there. <laughs> Just go for the easy one. <laughs> yes. Monica seems to like you know seems to like returning to Eurovision. So yeah, maybe we can see like her third time. You know. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Fair enough. I love it. All right. So I'm going to ask my hardest hitting question. Okay. Um, I've asked almost every single Eurovision artist this year. Um, there are 36 other artists that are competing alongside you. And as a songwriter and an artist, if you got to pick one of them to write a new song with, who would you want to work with and why? So this year's Eurovision, right? This From year. this year's. Okay. Wow. That's a very interesting one. Oh, I would say Blanca Paloma. Mm. She is so talented and I would definitely choose her. 
Yeah. Mm. Yeah, she's been very, very popular. But I, for, for very good reasons, what you said, she's got a very unique yes. perspective. Um, and she loves dancing, she loves singing, and she's, like, very traditional, I would probably say. Like, she loves her tradition, you know, like, mm-hmm. traditional music. And I would love to get to know uh, her traditional music, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I have one final question for you. I know that Eurovision hasn't ended yet. We still have another seven, eight-ish days. We just won't talk about it. Yes. <laughs> but in thinking about so that we can make sure that people are connected with you and know what's coming uh, coming up, what comes next after Eurovision? So before Eurovision, I started working on my solo album. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then this happened <laughs> and I had to pause uh, working on my album and which is a very great thing by the way (laughs) yes just like no big deal but Eurovision (laughs) happened (laughs) yeah so my dream came true and I had to put a pause on it but like then right after I go back home I also have to have finals and midterms as well because I'm taking masters in PR (laughs) yeah back home so I have 10 exams (laughs) exams <laughs> back I, which i don't please don't talk talk to me about that but mm. yes first i need to finish the semester because i love educating myself mm. and then it's going to be like the whole summer of working on my album and just like releasing more music for my supporters awesome awesome so of course i always say make sure that you're tuned into the social medias and youtube spotify itunes because we want to make sure that we're supporting you uh during and after eurovision and that's a great point as well make sure you tune into the semifinals uh so that you can make sure to support iru in her journey to eurovision and potentially also vote uh in that semifinal to support her there as well yes please vote for me (laughs) vote for georgia because we haven't actually been uh, through the finals for seven years Mm. and i have this very big mission (laughs) to break the spell so please help me because it's all about you guys if anybody votes like even one person votes for me i'm just going to be very very thankful and grateful thank you so much awesome awesome well thank you for your time and uh, everyone who's watching we'll see you next time bye